There's a reason they call Paris the city of love. It's got amazing architecture, great food, and romantic walks by the Seine. But what if we told you that the city could also drive you in Seine? While many think Paris is one of the dreamiest places in the world, what lurks beneath its charming streets will make you shudder. From the weeping woman of Pont Marie Bridge, to the real Phantom of the Opera, to the ghosts that haunt the Eiffel Tower itself. This is Curious Mind, and today we're revealing what makes Paris the creepiest city on Earth. The Ghost of Philibert Asper in the Catacombs While the labyrinthian catacombs that sprawl below Paris are fascinating to many urban explorers, you should heed the cautionary tale of hospital worker Philibert Asper. Legend has it that Asper headed down into the darkness below his workplace, taking with him just a single candle to light his way. When the candle went out, Asper got hopelessly lost in the maze of corridors and perished shortly after. His body wasn't found until 11 years later, and the cause of his death remains a mystery. Many believe that his spirit still haunts the catacombs today. The Red Man of Twillery's Gardens Want to visit the beautiful Twillery's Gardens? Just be careful your tour isn't interrupted by a towering figure drenched in blood. The so-called Red Man is a ghost famed for wandering the gardens at night and is said to have visited both Marie Antoinette and Napoleon shortly before their deaths. As for the identity of the spirit, many believe he is Jean the Skinner, a legendary mercenary hired by Queen Catherine de' Medici. Medici tasked the Red Man with disposing of her many political and personal enemies so she could keep her royal hands clean. The Demon Barber of Rue Chanoinette Despite what you might think, Fleet Street in London isn't the only place where a demon barber prowled the streets. Rumour has it Rue Chanoinesse also played host to a hairdresser who slashed the throats of the men he shaved. But that wasn't even the end of his crimes. The barbaric barber also allegedly made some extra money by selling the bodies of the victims to the nearby butcher. That's not exactly the world-renowned fine dining that the French are famous for. The Weeping Woman of Pont-Marie Bridge Though Paris isn't short on ghost stories, none are more chilling than the weeping woman of the Pont-Marie Bridge. According to legend, this unnamed lady lived during the last days of the Parisian occupation and split her time between her husband, a member of the French resistance, and her lover, a German officer. Throughout her life, she used her position to slip German military secrets to her husband, who she would meet on the bridge at midnight. Tragically though, one night her beloved did not return from his mission and while she waited, she froze to death. The Man in the Black Coat at Jardin de Luxembourg There are plenty of stories of ghosts luring unlucky victims to their doom, but not every spirit has violent intentions. In 1925, medical student Jean Romier was approached by a man clad in a black cloak who invited him to an evening of entertainment at his home. Romier eagerly accepted and had a wonderful time drinking and dancing though the house felt unusually cold despite the roaring fire. When he returned to party again the next week, however, he found the house empty and dark and was told the man who had once lived there had been dead for 20 years. Gerard de Nervo People are fascinated by the idea of haunted mansions, but haunted theatres really deserve more credit. The spooky origin story of Paris's Théâtre de la Ville comes courtesy of Gerard de Nervo, a famously eccentric poet who met his end at his own hands in his home in 1855. Just before his death, Gerard wrote a letter to his aunt that ended, Don't wait up for me this evening, for it will be a sleepless night. Later, a theatre was built on the land where his home had once stood, and the actors found themselves plagued by his ghost, who would appear on stage during pivotal scenes. Those poor performers certainly weren't getting any sleep. The Phantom of the Opera Almost everyone is familiar with the Phantom of the Opera, but the reality is a far cry from the half masks, operatic belting, and overpriced interval ice creams you might know. A century before Andrew Lloyd Webber got the idea to adapt it, author Gaston Leroux based his story on the real Opera Garnier in Paris, which some consider to be one of the most haunted buildings in France. Just like in the book and the musical, this opera house is built on top of a huge lake, and a chandelier really did once crash down and kill a concierge. 
The Curse of Rue de Bièvre. Paris is an expensive city that is quickly running out of space, but there's a building on La Rue de Bièvre that has stood empty since the 1940s. Ask any local and you'll hear the story of the pub that landlords are too scared to buy and the fortune teller that caused its ruin. Allegedly, the fortune teller was thrown out of the watering hole by the barkeep every night and so swore to destroy both his livelihood and his happiness. Soon, the barkeep's family began to drop like flies and his wife absconded with the very fortune teller he hated. That's karma for you. Isore de Montsouris what could be more romantic than a historic observatory located in the middle of the City of Love? Not much, but before you choose the Palais de Bordeaux for your next date, you might want to know its grisly history. Centuries before it was a place to gaze at stars, it was home to a legendary bandit called Isere de Montserie, who was beheaded by authorities right there on the ground. As a result, his headless ghost now allegedly haunts the building, often terrifying young lovers who just want to hold hands in peace. Ghosts of the Eiffel Tower The iconic Eiffel Tower is another romantic landmark with a surprisingly bloody history. One tale claims that an unwanted marriage proposal at the top of the tower in the 1920s ended with the woman falling or being pushed to her death. Visitors have since claimed to hear a disembodied voice giggling, then angrily roaring, then screaming in terror. So much could have been avoided if her lover had chosen to propose a little closer to the ground. And that concludes our list of the terrifying places you should never visit in Paris. Have we put you off visiting forever? Or are you even more excited to book a trip to the city of love? Let us know in the comments and subscribe to Curious Mind for more.